Hey guys, hello and welcome to yet another Divi tutorial brought to you by the team at Divi Engine. You know me, this is Roby, and I am excited to get into the topic today. I'm going to be showing you how you can easily create custom success or failed messages for your Divi forms using the Divi Builder you already know and love. Brought to you with the power of the Divi Form Builder plugin. So no, you need the Divi Form Builder plugin to follow along, but if you're interested, check it out. We're going to be taking boring success messages like this one. You already know it through the stock Divi form module. And we're going to be turning it into something a lot more exciting like this. This was built with the Divi Builder you already know and love. Super simple to do, but it just looks so much nicer and such a nicer experience for customers when they submit your forms on your website. So guys, let's get right to it. Okay, so first up, we need to be logged in to the back end of our Divi site. And what we need to do is first build the form that will receive this custom success notice. So we're going to go to pages and I'll just add a new page. We'll give it a name and we will say Divi form builder and just say success. Oops. There we go. And we'll enable the builder. All right, we'll build from scratch here. And if Divi doesn't reload, it does not seem to be the case. We will hit that single row and I'm going to type in form. That'll bring up the form module from the Divi form builder. I'll add that one in and let's switch to visual mode so that we can see what we're doing here. I'm going to add one simple field and we'll just call this name. And we'll leave that as an input field and we'll make it required and then maybe for the layout options we'll give it a label position of top we'll say for a placeholder enter your name and we'll add an icon as well why not and we'll just say person and let's just pick that first one there and then what we need to do is add another field we'll put in email and we'll just select this as an email field. We'll make it required. Not much you can do without that in there. And then with the layout options again, we'll put the label at the top. And then we'll add a placeholder that says enter your email. We'll add an icon again. We'll type in email. That icon works for me. And then we'll just go ahead and commit that one. And then let's just add one more field for fun. We'll add sign here because we're going to add a digital signature field bam and we won't make make that one required but what we will do is we'll add a label to the top position there and that looks good to me and let's go ahead and save that publish it actually and then we'll go take a look and see what it does on the front end of the site I'm gonna open this up in a new tab and let's see what it does. Let's say test. I will do oops, test at test.com. We'll do a little loop de loop signature and I'll submit. And there you have it. Thank you for your message. We will be in touch shortly. That's that old boring message. So let me show you how we spruce that up a bit by using the Divi Builder and creating a layout and a library that will be used by this form. So let's get to it. Okay, so like I mentioned, we need to go ahead and build that notice layout, and we're gonna do that here from the back end of our Divi site. We're gonna go over to Divi, and then Divi library. And what we'll do, you see that other notice that I created earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layout. So I'm just gonna say success notice, and then layout type. You can make this a row or a section. I just like to use layout. Um, for my own personal reasons, really, and you can do what you like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. Do that one more time, and there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna put a different layout for this one just to show you how easy it is to do different things. I'm gonna select a two column row, and then here in the first section, but let me just make this visual because that's just a nicer way to see us do this. Just gonna add a text module, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to give some give our users a coupon once they submitted our form. So I'm going to put a H1 tag in here, and I say thank you. 
and close that h1 tag and then i'll say we appreciate you submitting our form here is a coupon for you there we go and i am just going to go ahead and close that out and now i'm going to add another text field or text module and then we're just going to say coupon code colon and then we say your coupon i mean really whatever i have not created this coupon it's just to kind of demonstrate what we're doing here and we're going to change the design of this a little bit we're going to go ahead and modify the tech well firstly we're going to change the background color to a little bit off white and we'll just go with f4 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 that changes that up a little bit and then what we'll do also is we're going to add some spacing in here and we're going to add some padding we're going to put 15 pixels of padding i think all around this guy and then we'll, we'll add some border as well let's just add a border width of one pixel we'll make it red so it stands out and then the style we're going to go ahead with dashed great and then maybe here with the text we'll go ahead and go to visual we'll bold this first portion just because that's a little easier to do this way but then what we want to do with the text is enlarge it a bit there we go that'll make it stand out a little bit more and now i know this is not beautiful or anything but this is just really to show you what's possible how custom you can actually go ahead and make all this so there is that part done um what i'm going to do is go into this first module that we did also and just for the heading text for the h1 tag let's use um, this gray color here that i have selected we'll make the font weight ultra bold so it stands out a bit more and then just maybe make the thank you nice and big and we shall also go ahead to the regular text and let's just give that a little bit more oomph we'll make this light that looks pretty good let's add one uh, letter spacing pixel and I think that kind of works for me as is on the second column we are going to go ahead and make it personal we're going to put an image in there and I have some images uploaded here I'm going to go with this gentleman right here that seems to be very deep in thought we'll put that in there and then what we're going to do is we'll just make the image a little bit smaller so in sizing we'll say the max width is maybe 300 pixels oh that's percent pixels there we go that makes it a little bit smaller and that looks good to me and we'll do one more thing here we're going to go ahead on the row settings and we'll go to design we're going to add a bit of a border like we did with the um the notice that i showed you in the demo i'm just going to make that one pixel we're not going to go too crazy with this. We'll make the color, that gray color that I used earlier. And then we're just going to make this a, not dashed, but actually dotted. And we're going to want to add some spacing. As we can see that our text is right up on the side there. We don't really care for that. So let's add some spacing. Add some padding. And let's give this a little bit more padding. 50 on all fronts. There we go. And then when we say, see, say OK, there we go. That looks a little bit better. I think that's going to work for our form. So let's go ahead and update this layout. Cool. And then now what we're going to do next is we're actually going to tell that Divi Form Holder 4 module to use this layout when we submit our form. So let's get to that in the next step. Okay, so here I am back on that page that we created earlier with our Divi Form Builder module on there. I'm going to go into visual mode here. Not that it's really important for this step, but I like to play around this way. So I'm going to go open up the settings for the Form Builder module. And I noticed that we did not add a title, so we say fancy title. And as you can see, it just applies it directly on the page there immediately for you. And we will go down here to notices. Now in notices, you'll see a bunch of options. You can control where that notice will be displayed. 
we can control with its text. And this is where we're gonna get busy now. We're gonna click on that. I'm going to say we want a Divi layout to be displayed. And then we click over there and all we need to do is select that success notice layout that we just created. With that selected, you'll also see that we can control the failed messages. We're not gonna mess with that right now, but it's good to know that, that you do have the flexibility for both scenarios. Now all you need to do is go ahead and save that module, save the page, and then we'll go back to the front end and reload that layout here. So I'm reloading it right now. So let me type in my name, and then we'll just add test at test.com. We'll do our famous loop signature and submit the form. And there you go. Super easy to do, and it looks great on the page. Now this is maybe not the best design on earth. I'm not a designer. I'm a guy that can build things and explain things. This is what I do. I know that you're much better at this than I am. But hopefully this shows you how flexible the Divi Formal the plugin is to control these type of things. Now, let me just jump in the back here again and I wanna show you one more thing. When I go back into the settings for the module and I come down to notices, you'll notice that if I do select text here, I can control what the text says. So I'm saying Divi tutorial, if I could spell tutorial demo as my success message text. Obviously in the real world, you won't be using that, but I wanna show you how easily you can change that text also. I'll just refresh on my page here. We'll go test and then test at test.com, loop-de-loop, submit, and then you'll see that text is right there. Very easy to do, very simple to do. And of course, this is one of the many features that you'll find in the Divi Form Holder plugin. There are signature fields, spam protection, conditional logic. You can even create posts from the front end with this powerful form building plugin. And this is only the beginning. The plugin's brand new. We're going to continue to expand it. And with that, there you have it, folks. How quick was that? I think if you take all my gibberish out of the way, five minutes to quickly build a layout for your forms using the Divi Boulder you know and love using the Divi Form Boulder plugin. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Definitely like and subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the great content that we keep dropping for the general Divi community, but also for our customers. We definitely appreciate all of you guys. Definitely drop a comment below to let us know what you thought. So with that guys, this was Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.